guys, welcome back. Uh, today's video is really important to me, clearly. This is my wedding video. I have made this video a couple of different ways and I wanted to give this a go where I sit down and just talk to you. I tell you about everything that's happening, I'll, I'll be inserting some clips so you guys can see what's what really went on that day. Uh, this way I can, I can actually verbally tell you stories. I had tried making this before where I made it more slideshow style and I kind of put some text over there and we'll be honest, nobody wants to read all of that. So I'm going to sit down story time. I'm going to tell you about the whole day. I'm going to show you everything from the decor to the ceremony uh, to the dancing, the partying. I want to start off by saying a major thank you to Amy who got all of these clips that you're about to see. She nailed it. I didn't hire a videographer by the time I had realized or thought about wanting this on film. It was way too late and she jumped right in. She said, I'll do it. I'm going to be there anyways. So yeah, she, she showed up. She had her phone in hand the whole day. She got so much footage, just little clips of everything that was really important and significant. Uh, and I, I thank her so much for that. The only thing I took on my phone the entire day is this one clip. I'll go ahead and roll it now. Okay, well, I look insane. Um, it's my wedding day. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm really nervous. Um, this is the first time I've cried. I don't know. I haven't actually said it's my wedding day. <laughs> Whoa. That's wild, man. Um, so yeah, it's a big day. I'm, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm mostly just really excited. Um, I'm waiting right now for Matt. We're grabbing some coffee. We just had some McDonald's breakfast because it's what sounded good. We've got, look at the whole back. The whole entire back is just filled with like all wedding stuff. And then there was a change of plans for our honeymoon. So originally we were supposed to stay right outside of San Francisco. We were supposed to stay in Clear Lake and then in Windsor, half, half for the week, um, which are both like hour or two away from San Francisco. Um, but it's on fire down there. Clear Lake was evacuated. Windsor hasn't been yet. There's a chance that it could be. So we actually changed just yesterday, um, changed our plans to go and stay in Klamath Falls. So, um, that'll be really nice. It's also about half the drive. Instead of 13 hours of driving tomorrow, we will only have to do five. <laughs> so that's great. Um, not sure when the next time you will see me is. I might be Mrs. Gilbert. I might not. I might be getting ready. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but here we go. We're going to get married. <laughs> Okay, so after we, after that, uh, my little breakdown in the Starbucks parking lot, we, we drove out to our venue. Once we got there, it's beautiful. It's at a golf course. We all got ready upstairs there. They have a little bridal suite and then a whole other massive room that we got ready in. Um, we all did our makeup together. I did have a hairdresser come. Her name's Sierra. She did a fabulous job. Like, she nailed it. Not only did she do a great job on all of our hair, but she stuck around. When we were out taking pictures, she cleaned up all of the I mean, we had makeup and things everywhere. You know what it looks like when girls get ready. Sierra stuck around. She cleaned everything up for us. Uh, she was so nice. She actually walked me out. And right before I walked down the aisle, she was touching up my hair. She had her hairspray in hand. She was fluffing my dress. Like, she went above and beyond. She was wonderful. I know in my dress video, I said, I'm going to figure out how to steam my dress myself. Well, I didn't, but my mom did. She took care of it. Her and her friend Barb, uh, they, they were in there just tirelessly steaming away at that dress, which I really, really appreciate. 
Uh, it looked beautiful. So I'll go ahead and show you guys my bridesmaids. My maid of honor was Eileen. She is my my also my sister-in-law. My brother and her just got married last year. She's great. She's who threw my bridal shower as well. Um, her and my mom. If you guys haven't seen that, you should go look. She is so talented. So talented. Um, and then here in this picture with her is also my friend Jordan. I've known her for years and years. Also had my friends from high school, Ashley and Regina. Um, Gina's on the left, Ashley's there on the right. Me and Gina lived together when we first graduated high school. We moved about an hour out of our hometown um, and did a little bit of college together and were roommates. And then Ashley has been one of my friends since all the way back in elementary school when I first moved to this area. She was one of the very first friends that I made. And then there's a picture of Jordan again and Audrey. Audrey has been my best friend for years and years. Also since third grade. Um, she lives up in Seattle, so I don't get to see her as often because there is a couple hours in between us, but it was so nice to have her there. Um, it was really, really special to have everybody all together. I, we've all been out of high school for like 10 plus years, so it's been a long time since everyone was together. It was really great, and they all look so beautiful. I, I, I couldn't have done it without them there, and they made it so much fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk you through our venue. So when you first walk up from the parking lot, this is what you see. We we had our welcome sign down there that Eileen had made for us. She actually free handed that because she's wildly talented. And then we had our gift table. We also had some programs set up on there. Then when you walk across uh, the way, just right next to that was our guest book table. Um, Major thank you to my cousin Riley who sat at our guest book table to kind of show people what to do. So we did have a couple of different guest books there. One, we had this book uh, and we had our little Polaroid, the Instamax Polaroid cameras out. Everyone would just take a picture and then write a little well wish in there for us and stick it in there. And we also had a globe there to sign for people who maybe weren't so into taking a selfie. Uh, we had this and everyone could sign it. That will now be a decoration in our home. So our programs we actually had made into fans and that's great for the guests. It's, it's functional, um, it's informative. So we just had basically the rundown of the day, um, who was in our bridal party, our names, a nice little thank you on there. They turned out really cute. Eileen also helped me design those. Eileen was Eileen was a really big help there. Eileen was a really big help everywhere. But uh, here we also had a table that had some props on it for pictures. And then we had this beautiful river as the backdrop, which I'll get to the river, the significance of a river, in a little bit. Um, but that was really beautiful. Here you can see the guests have already kind of started shuffling in. So another table that we had that was really special to us, probably the most special, um, we had our take home gifts, which were little succulents. We had a little sign there that said, please take one home and let love grow. But then next to that was was the a very, very important part to me and Matt both. Uh, I have mentioned before that we both lost our fathers. He's also lost a sister. So we had their pictures here, commemorative pictures of all of them. And then a sign that said, we know you'd be here today if heaven weren't so far away. Uh, we felt that that was a great way to incorporate them, but we also wanted them with us. So I had a picture of my dad on my bouquet so that it, it was kind of to signify him walking me down the aisle. And then for Matt last year, I actually had cufflinks made for him by a lady on Etsy and they had a picture of him and his dad in them. I wanted my dad to walk me down the aisle and Matt wanted his dad up there, you know, rooting him on. And I, I think that we honored both of them very, very beautifully. I also mentioned in my bridal shower video the necklace that I was wearing. Um, very important. You can watch that to find that out. And then you can see too that I have a bracelet on. My mom bought me that. 
for at my bridal shower to wear at my wedding and so I I had everything on me was so meaningful um, same with Matt he wore you know one of his dad's tie clips and um, it, it was just really really special it was really important to us that they played a part because we know if they were still here they would have they would have been an, a, a massive part of that day all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through our reception area. It's here just in between those two front tables. The first table you see here is our cake table. We hadn't brought it out yet because of the heat. But then there's our sweetheart table. Now that table actually ends up drastically changing. Um, it ended up being okay. I'll get to that story in a little bit. Uh, so here you can see all of our guest tables. Me and my mom worked really hard shopping for an entire year to find all the stuff to put on there. But they looked so beautiful. Actually, a story about me and Matt. We had our first date on a river. We went on a hike and we sat down by the bank of the river. We kind of got to know each other. Ended up stacking up rocks and building a little rock tower that day. But he took me back to our first date spot and we did what we do every time that we've hiked there uh, in the past. We sat down, we built a little rock tower. And at the very end, when we were looking for the top rock, because that's always the most important one, he pulled out my ring and he said, "I ha wait, I found the perfect rock. And I just was like, <gasps> um, so we knew that, you know, our story has taken place on a river and this venue was so perfect because it was right on the river. I'll tell you another little story. So me and Matt, every time we would go on hikes, we bring home a rock and then we paint a scene from that day or something that would remind us of that day and that hike. So I have this huge collection of painted rocks from all the hikes that we had been on. Remember on the day that we got engaged, we found a rock that was heart shaped. And I was like, oh my gosh, we got engaged in the rock that we find is heart shaped. This is perfect. We have to take that one home. So we did and I'd forgotten about it. We never ended up painting it. It totally slipped my mind. Well, while I was getting ready on the day of the wedding, Matt had actually painted that rock and he boxed it up and he sent it over to me with a letter and um, it was beautiful and it was so meaningful. Uh, very true to our story and... It was just, it was, it was wonderful. He's All right, so now that you guys have seen a little bit of the venue itself, um, we'll go ahead and we'll just walk through the ceremony. Amy took this great clip that just, it was exactly what you would have seen if you were a guest. We did have a sign that said, pick a seat, not a side. You're loved by both the groom and the bride. The idea of a wedding is to join families. Uh, we wanted everyone mixed and sitting together. Um, my altar was beautifully done by my mom and her friend Tracy. It was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'll insert a picture here of what I had kind of mocked up. I had a couple of crates and of course there's no flowers in this picture. It was too early to do that part, but I, I kind of had this idea and they took that and they ran with it and my altar Hands down, one of the prettiest that I've ever seen. And so here, I will just, I'll kind of speed up and speed through everybody walking down the aisle. Once again, the angle is kind of funny for the whole ceremony. Amy was trying to not be disruptive. She didn't want to stand up and, you know, just to get that shot. And I, I really appreciate that, honestly. What she got, for me, it's, it's everything I could have asked for. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if the, the angle of it bothers you, but this way you can see. So our flower girl and ring bearers were actually Matt's nieces and nephews. They are adorable and they looked so good, so sharp. They did so good. I was so happy and so thankful that they want, that they could be a part of our day and that they wanted to do that. So then it comes time for me to come out. And it was funny because I thought I was gonna be so nervous and so scared um, and just like, oh, I, you know, I thought I would feel like I was gonna pass out or, you know, you hear all these stories and I didn't. 
100% I was more excited in those moments leading up to me walking out and actually walking out there than I've been ever. I mean, I was pumped. I was amped up. Um, my mom, of course, the second she sees me, she starts getting emotional and I was like, I'm just so excited. She's like, you're excited. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. You have to cry with me. And I was like, I can't like, I'm too happy. I'm too excited. And my stepdad both walked me down the aisle. Um, I wanted them both to give me away. Her mother and I. So yeah, then at this point, I mean, the, the ball was rolling. Um, when Matt went to take my hand in our rehearsal, he actually went to grab it like he was going to shake my hand. And I was like, if you do that at the ceremony, blah, 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 blah. So I actually thought he was going to do it as a joke, but he didn't. On behalf of Matt and Samantha and their families, Thank you for coming today to witness this blessed occasion, the uniting of Matt and Samantha in holy matrimony. Matt and Samantha, this is a happy day. The two of you have planned for this day for many, many weeks. Your family and friends are here to witness your vows to each other and to bless you. Today is a celebration of your commitment that you promise to each other. Matt and Samantha, today has become a holiday a holiday that God created that will be celebrated every year for the rest of your life. So Matt, if you would repeat after me. In the presence of God, and these are family and friends. In the presence of God, and family and friends. I take you, Samantha. I take you, Samantha. To be my wife. To be my wife. Promising with divine assistance. Promising with divine assistance. To be to you a loving and faithful husband. A loving and faithful husband. <laughs> so long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. And Samantha, in the presence of God, and these are family and friends. In the presence of God, and these are family and friends. I take you, Matt. I take you, Matt. To be my husband. To be my husband. Promising with divine assistance. Promising with divine assistance. To be to you a loving and faithful wife. To be to you a loving and faithful wife. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. for the very first time, Matt and Samantha Gilbert. Yeah. And then that was it. We were married. I was officially Mrs. Gilbert and the... Oh. <laughs> it was so beautiful. Um, I didn't want to get like super emotional in this video, but it's impossible for me to talk about this. And I'm watching it. If you see me when I keep looking over in that direction, I'm watching through these clips as I'm doing this. And it was, it was, uh, I can't put it into words <laughs> clearly. And then it was time to eat, time to drink, time to party, do some dancing, really just celebrate. So all the guests went over to that reception area. We had a bar there. They all got their drinks and kind of got seated. We didn't have a seating plan for the tables either. Um, I wanted everybody to sit wherever they wanted. So 
We finish our pictures and right before they announce us, we're standing on the other side of the hedges and we hear this crashing, all this glass breaking. And my wedding coordinator comes out and she goes, everything's fine, we're all fine, don't worry and don't look, just give us a couple of minutes. And that is when you see this happening where everybody is frantically trying to pick up all the glass. What had happened was a gust of wind came, knocked a big umbrella into our sweetheart table and broke everything. So then they had to redecorate it. They got it all put together, I mean, and quick. This happened quick. So they announce us, we come out there. I would have actually never, if I wouldn't have heard the glass break, I would have never known it happened because I hadn't seen the table beforehand anyways. But what they did the second time around, I think that this table looks so great. Like, look at this picture of us. The table is beautiful. They did a beautiful job putting it all back together. So that was one of the oopses that turned out just great. We moved into the speeches. I'll put those here. Having a good night? Yeah. Well, hey, you know, I was asked to be Matt's best man. Um, I don't even think we were ever asked me. It was just kind of assumed. <laughs> you know, after uh, 28 years of knowing this guy, I can say that honestly, there's not a better person in my life. Mm -hmm. I can say I've known and has been a part of it. So. When Matt told me he was getting married to Samantha, you know, I, I hadn't met her yet, but that was okay, because I know Matt, the quality of person he is, transcribes any other kind of thing through time and love, and the loyalty and the love Matt has to offer to somebody is beyond words. I'm pretty sure anybody here that knows Matt, niece, Sam, can say the same thing. He's an excellent guy. It's meant a lot to my life. And I just want to say, Matt, thank you very much. Sam, it's very nice meeting you. And I, God, man, very lucky to be with Matt. If I could just have you guys cheers to that. Cheers to Matt. Cheers to Sam. Everybody. Um, well, I'm Aaron. I'm Sam's little brother. So I've known her for a long time. <laughs> But um, I, I hope everybody's gone to the bathroom. This is like a two-hour speech, so <laughs> buckle in. It'll be, it'll be right. no, I'm, just, I'm, just I'm so thankful to have a sister like Sam. Um, no one works harder than she does or as dedicated or as strong-willed as she is. Um, and I'm sure Matt can attest to that as well. So I just hope that, you know, someday when I have kids and I have daughters especially, that, you know, some of, you know, her personality rubs off on them. So she, she really is amazing, and I know she's going to make a wonderful wife and um, a wonderful mother someday. And as for Matt, I couldn't ask for a, a better brother-in-law. You know, when we have family get-togethers and, and, you know, Matt's working graveyard, it's just like something's missing. He's just kind of that piece of the puzzle that our family needed, and it's just when he's around, it's just kind of we're whole and we're together, and we're so thankful. So and just thank you for you know, being there for Eileen and I when we've needed stuff. Eileen and I kind of have a, a, a few things we want to say about how to get through the first year, so. We're professional. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, so we came up with the four tips. The first one is always try to find humor in everything, um, even if you have to really dig for it. <laughs> like if Matt, if you leave things on the floor. Um, Sam, try to laugh it off. It'll be good. <laughs> Um, to always tell each other the truth. That way it's easier to find the humor in situations much sooner <laughs> than later. Um, number three, always make time for each other. Even if it's a date to like our hometown fair, you can people watch and make fun of people. You know, really just look at each other. Yeah, watch people, not make fun. Um, and four, always turn to each other in times of need. Um, you're going to go through hard times and fun times, but turn to each other instead of away from each other. It'll really help. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just so happy for you guys. Everyone here, I think, can agree we're so happy and that you guys found each other and for your new adventure. Um, you'll always have the love and support you know, um, of us and all of our family. We'll always be praying for you. And, and if you do, ever need anything, uh, go to mom. Yeah.
No. <laughs> <laughs> so, if everybody can raise your glass and cheers to the bride and groom. Yes. So then after the toasts and everything we had eaten, our food was insanely good. I put some pictures that I took when we went and actually just taste tested the food. We had crab stuffed salmon and barbecue beef brisket. We also had a couple of different salads, uh, kind of more of a summery salad and then a pasta salad. We had garlic mashed potatoes. We had green beans. There was rolls. I mean, it was so, so good. Uh, and then we moved on to cake. It was finally cake time. Now, I had never been schooled on how to cut a cake or what you were supposed to do. So here you can see me being like, I need my mom. <laughs> like, what am I doing? I need my mom. Um, my photographer came in though and she she had showed me, you know, okay, just cut here, cut here, take a little piece from the bottom. Cause I wasn't sure if I was supposed to cut from the top or the bottom. So yeah, I didn't know what to do. I was looking around for my mom. Me and Matt had already agreed ahead of time that we weren't gonna smash it in each other's faces or do anything like that. And he was good, he didn't. And then we got to do our first dance. Now, this was actually our first dance. We had never slow danced together until the night of our wedding. Wild. Uh, but it, it was almost made it that much more significant. Now, you can see that I am kicking my dress. <laughs> I didn't have time. Everything went really, really fast, and I didn't have time to sneak away and bustle my dress yet. So the best that I could do when we're spinning the circles is I would kick, kick kick and, and me and Matt it started to become a joke by the end of you know by the time he'd be like okay and kick and I'd kick okay and kick and I'd kick um and it's it's those things that you don't plan for and that are mess ups or screw ups or whatever but that end up making some of the funnest memories that was so funny everybody got a good laugh out of it uh so even when things don't go to plan sometimes it ends up better, which was something I struggled during the whole planning process. That was something I really struggled to realize. I was so stuck on everything has to go according to plan. It has to be this way. And everyone's telling me that's really not plausible. And it's probably not how it's going to happen. Mistakes are going to happen. And I, no, 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 they won't. They won't. And the mistakes that happened ended up being wonderful anyways. And then we moved on to the father daughter dance. Um, even though I didn't have my biological dad there, I am truly one of the luckiest girls in the world to have the stepdad that I do. My stepdad is the most selfless, honest, hardworking, reliable person you will ever meet. He has done so much for us. And I, I am thankful for him every day. You know, we used to butt heads. There, everybody does with their step parent. But as I've gotten older, I can appreciate him and what he has done so much more. And I am so glad that he was there and that he wanted to do the dance with me. He wanted to give me away. I mean, all of that, that meant so much. Then the DJ had called out for other fathers and daughters to come out and dance. And that was a really fun, a really beautiful moment. Have us all out there. My mom dancing with my grandpa next to me and my stepdad. And it was really nice. Shortly after that, we moved on to the money dance. Now, if you don't know what the money dance is, it's where the bride and the groom go out there. A song plays and people just rotate in and give you money. They give you money to dance with you. And the idea is that you take that money on your honeymoon. Um, and it's kind of a, f a fun competition between the bride and the groom who will make the most money. We ended up doing this for two songs because there were so many people <laughs> that were coming up to dance. Uh, but it was a lot of fun and we honestly made out like bandits from it. So I highly recommend doing a money dance at your wedding. Okay, so for the bouquet toss, I didn't get any clips of that um, or tossing the garter itself. But we did end up with this little clip here. Uh, which Matt dancing and being silly, this was just too good to not share. I will add though, since we don't have it on video, that 
Audrey is the one who caught my who caught my bouquet, and her long-term boyfriend Cash is who caught the garter. So, man, I'm just saying, Cash. <laughs> um, and then after that, all of the, you know, the normal scheduled stuff had was done and it was just time to let loose and dance and we did so much of that this is ashley's little girl kaylin here and she is so much fun she was definitely the life of the party she had so many awesome dance so not all of the music is gonna match up to the dancing exactly because copyright but here is my parents and they're dancing to their wedding song, which is Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers. I have the world's greatest parents and they love each other so, so much. And they did so much for this day. They, they put so much work and effort into making this day what I wanted and I really could never thank them enough and especially my mom. My mom worked day in and day out with me to put this all together, to make sure that we had everything. She helped, everything got stored at her house. Her house was a total wreck. I mean, not only did she put on that beautiful bridal shower, but she then helped with the entire wedding. Um, the day of setting everything up, she was out there while, while us girls are getting our makeup and doing all the fun stuff. My mom's out there running around, setting everything up, all the tables, making sure every T is crossed and I is dotted. She was on it. Um, I, there's no way any of this would have happened without her. And I am so blessed to have her. It's beautiful seeing them dancing and just truly enjoying this day and this moment because they really, really earned it. And they've been such shining examples of what marriage should look like and what parenting should be. Um, I, I really can't say enough good things about them. And then this to see my stepdad and mom, my brother and Ailey, and then me and Matt dancing to this song that's so significant to my parents. Uh, we really got into some fun though. I'll just let a few of these clips play. Here, this is really funny because my mom turns around and what she says is, where's my mom? <laughs> but it was just really funny to see us both kind of doing the same thing <laughs> throughout the day. Matt's mom didn't want to do the mother-son dance. She was kind of uncomfortable getting up there and being in the spotlight, which I totally get. Um, and she's like, well, and I'm not a dancer, I'm not a dancer. But here, you can see her come in from the left, just, oh, she is getting into it. And that is so fun. And she comes into this group, dancing, hands up, having so much fun. And then my mom comes out, and she does her own little solo moment, little dance. And, <laughs> oh, I love, I love that. I love that so much. We all had so much fun. Okay, so this next clip needs a little bit of explaining. Um, my cousin Riley, who was helping with the guest book, we were trying to get him to come out and dance, and he's, I don't like this music. I don't like this music. Because he's really into more rock and metal. So we went and we had the DJ put on some music that maybe he would like, and we pulled him out in the middle to dance. This brought out a, a very wild side of my family because as you can see here, I'll replay it in slow motion for you. This is my brother and my other cousin pretending to bash beer bottles over my head at my own wedding. <laughs> Which I clearly didn't even notice because then I can die just in dancing. But that, watching that bit back was so funny. I'm like, are you kidding guys? You guys are such brats. Uh, this song, it's a version of the electric slide, but this is always my favorite song to dance to at weddings because everybody gets out there, it's choreographed, it makes me feel like I'm in some kind of flash mob. Uh, I love it. I love dancing to that song. 
After that, day turned in tonight. We kept partying through. Uh, this is where Kaylin really displays her dancing abilities. Uh, we were all we were all just having so much fun. She ends up jumping in the middle of the circle, and it was great. This was the last dance of the night. The last. The last hoorah of the evening, everyone had been handed out sparklers because we did a sparkler send-off. I also don't have footage of that yet, but I will have pictures. I will be posting pictures as soon as I get them all back from the photographer. Uh, and then we, we left. Me and Matt took the drive down to Portland. Uh, we had had a hotel because we were going to be hitting the road for our honeymoon the next day. So here, here's when we very first got back to the hotel. The we did it. We married. Yeah. I'm Mrs. Gilbert. Official. Check it. Bling bling. Woo! Um, the next morning we woke up and we hit the road headed for our honeymoon. So make sure to subscribe. I will be putting out videos, a nice little series of honeymoon videos and everything that we did on our trip. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this video. I know it was a long one, but I needed to make sure that I had everything in here. This is a video that that I wanted to share with you guys, but that I'm also going to have for the rest of my life. Big thank yous to everybody who was involved in my day. Thank you to every family and friend, coworker, everybody who came out to support us and love us, who got us these beautiful gifts. And thank you to my husband. You are wonderful. You are everything and more. Um, that day was the beginning of a whole new book that we get to live out together. Uh, and I'm glad that I have you by my side. So now that I've given all my thank yous as if I'm at some sort of award show, <laughs> we'll slide out to the end card. Yeah. Huh, because